Welcome to the series about optimizing performance in Unity. This is the first video, an introduction, and I will keep posting subsequent parts regularly as quickly as they are ready. So what is optimization? Optimization and performance are very broad subjects, which main point is to plan and achieve efficient use of hardware resources on the different target devices and the execution of more important tasks first. Optimization is about building a balanced ratio of time and effort to effects. It's easy to speed up a project a little bit with various tips and tricks, but as you optimize it and push the hardware to its limits, it's going to be an increasing challenge to get as many FPSs as possible and in the same time to have the best quality possible. It's not really an art, as you can define optimization in very precise terms, but there are a lot of subjective areas especially when it comes to graphics, where optimization is more about finding a good compromise. For games and real-time applications, optimization is critical. Smooth gameplay and flawless rendering without any lags or hiccups is a foundation of delivering the best possible experience for the player. Even a momentary delay or sluggishness effectively pushes the player out of the experience and the virtual immersion. Next to a poor gameplay or a story, it is a main factor influencing player reviews, retention and games rating. Later, the saved resources can be used to introduce more interesting content or to reach more potential players and in effect, it's one of the main factors of a successful game. So let's get into more details as to why optimization is so important in each phase of game development. We should plan optimization now to have a good player reception and retention. More resources are available for an actual gameplay, or we can decide instead to have access to a wider audience by supporting broader range of devices. Lower battery consumption on mobile devices. To meet the current raising demands of resolution and refresh rate of new displays and devices. And finally, we can have easier and faster development process. New hardware devices are constantly upgraded, but the demands of both quality, complexity and realism rise together simultaneously with these upgrades at ever-increasing speed. Ideally, developers should operate on the edge of technological potential and treat optimization as a fundament of this progress. However, be careful, as it's still necessary to keep the balance between our available time, efforts and the actual improvements for the player, avoiding premature and excessive optimization. There is no universal solution. Almost anything can be optimized further and made more efficient. But we have to draw a line somewhere and decide that our game is ready and complete, postponing potential improvements till further versions and updates. There's a common saying by uh, Donald Knut that premature optimization is the root of all evil. Also, we have to be careful about different optimization tips and tricks. We can't just apply all of them without consideration and understanding. Some advices are common and almost always applicable. However, even a very good tip applied in the wrong circumstances can bring no improvement or can even make things worse. And it's worth noting that Unity Engine is constantly updated. Some problems are no longer present and so do the related advices, like for example, caching reference to camera.main. The scope of optimization is different for different projects. Simple 2D casual game will usually require less effort than 3D RPG project to make it work smoothly on a broad range of devices. So let's divide this process and let's look at an optimization from a few different perspectives. First, we can think of optimization in terms of workflow and point in time when we take care of it. And this can be further separated to planning and budget, which is about the type of the game or a project, the target hardware and devices, and available limits of resources like CPU or GPU. Another one is proactivity of creators which is about building an optimized code and well-organized scenes in advance, before any problems arise, which is especially important when working in a team. And later we do the analysis and profiling, which is about verifying how we use available resources. 
When you start working on the project, it's best to first focus on the initial planning and specifying a budget, consisting of hardware resources that you will have available for your application. Don't get too concerned with being proactive by thinking out and creating all parts of your project in the most efficient way. Of course, try to keep in mind some basic but important factors that can slow down a lot even a simple game, but you don't have to be too meticulous about it in the beginning. However, as the application gets bigger in size, it's easy for things to get out of hand quickly. So you will learn about these details later on, starting from the most crucial ones. Another perspective is about what we optimize. And in a game engine like Unity, we can highlight five main areas of interest. Code, graphics, UI, physics, and assets and project organization. Most of these fields overlap and they can also be further divided into subcategories. We can, for example, think of code and scripts in terms of clean code or proper methodologies of building the whole application. There are also other important areas to consider, like for example, loading times or everything related to networking and that includes connection time or reliability. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next video, I will talk about planning and specifying a performance budget. It's going to be available soon, so take care and see you soon.